Hi, this is the second part of the presentations on lambda expressions in Java 8. In the first part, I introduce you to lambda expressions. In this part, we will delve a bit deeper into this topic. Okay, I have a class called working with lambda with the main method. Now what I am going to do is create an interface like we did in part 1, say Calci. Let's have a method called add uh, which takes in two integers num1 and num2. Alright, now if you want to create an instance of Calci, you can use lambda expressions. So you say Calci, Calci1 equals, what you can do is you can pass these two arguments. You can just say n1 comma n2, the lambda operator, and I'm going to say return n1 plus n2. Okay. Now, if you want to access this, you can just say calci one dot add. Let's say ten. 11. So Calci1 is an instance of this interface Calci and you created an instance using this lambda expression. So basically you can look at Calci as a functional interface. A functional interface is one which has a single abstract method. Now Calci has a single abstract method. Let's run this. Let's run this and see what happens. Working with lambda. All right, you get 21. Oh, perfect. You can uh, play with the syntax. Okay, so we can create uh, another instance of Calci. You can give the data type if you want. You can just say int num1, int num2, lambda operator. Okay, you can have a few more things inside. You can just say system dot Oh, dot printer learn. I'm going to say adding num1 and num2, and you can give a the return statement here num1 plus num2. So, calci2 okay, the lambda expression now has a, a body. Okay, you can write whatever you want inside this uh, within these uh, parentheses. You want to access them, you can just say system dot your printer learn calci2 dot add 10 comma 10 okay if you run this you go adding 10 and 10 and you get this output now let's say uh, you have a method okay uh, that, that really does not accept any argument uh, for example you have uh, let's let's create an interface we'll call it uh, say printer and you want to print something okay let's say print date so how do you create an expression for this you can create an instance of printer you can just say printer one no arguments so you just open an empty parenthesis your lambda operator and if you just have one statement you don't really need this curly braces i'm going to say new java dot little dot date and printer one dot print date right so printer has a method has a single abstract method called print date that does not accept any argument and if you want to cre uh, create an instance using a lambda expression you just give an empty parenthesis and uh, uh, the body let's run this you get the date all right so we've been talking about this functional interfaces let's let's add some more thing okay uh, say this calci has another method called subtract subtract you want to take into arguments or pass num1 and num2 now let's run this let's let's run this let's uh, uh, run this and see what happens okay you get an exception, you get a compile time error 
that says CALSI is not a functional interface. Multiple non-overriding abstract methods. So one of the things that you have to remember is when you want to use lambda expression, the interface or the functional interface should just have one single abstract method. If it has more than one abstract method, it will give you a compile time error. So essentially you can use uh, lambda expressions uh, in, uh, to create uh, instances okay, of uh, uh, interfaces that just have one abstract method. So if you want to get this running, okay, you can uh, just comment this out, run this, right, works fine. So we've been talking about this functional interfaces, okay, uh, your Java 8 has a package called java.util.function that has a number of functional interfaces that you would be using. You have functional interfaces like uh, function, predicate, uh, in predicate, bit consumer, a, a number of uh, functional interfaces. You can create instances of those functional interfaces using lambda expressions, pass them around, okay, uh, between as objects between functions and make your code a uh, lot more uh, compact. We'll talk more about this uh, uh, this particular package function, okay, in the next part.